So in today's video, I am going to show you how to set up your PayPal business account. I am going to make this process as easy and simple as possible and I am going to show you step by step on how to do it. So if you have been confused on how to do it, then this video is for you. But before I jump into this video, be sure to like this video and subscribe on my channel for more video like this. And let's jump straight on today's tutorial. So first go to paypal.com and click the link i'll leave the link on my description and this will be the first page that you'll see and in today's video we are going to make the paypal business account and you can see right over here on top so let's click that and that link will take us straight on their creation account page so there is a personal account and the business account so we are going to do a business account so let's click here sign up and on this page we are going to create our paypal account so you have to put your first name last name your email address and password so i'm gonna put okay and i'm going to create my password next click agree and create an account and it's gonna create our account and um and now the next page will just ask you like if you're ready to start accepting payment and this will be your guidance for every step on the way so the first thing you're gonna do is activate your account to use paypal and then um you're gonna have to provide supporting info to set up an advanced checkout so if you're ready you can click let's go or if not yet you can click that so let's click that not yet first and this will be your PayPal homepage business account so what you can do um, first for your account to start working you're gonna have to complete your profile first you need to activate your account and confirm your email address and then link a bank um, that PayPal can send you money uh, once you receive money and this is where you will see your PayPal balance and money in money out and different things and these are the quick links that you can find in PayPal like inferencing request money send money PayPal me etc so the difference between your personal account and your business account your personal account whenever you're asking for money or sending a money or uh, on an invoice or paying someone uh paper is going to come up with your full name as well as your email and also your address but and if you are using a business account what it's going to do is just send it as your business name and pretty much that's it and these are the other different section that you can see all your reports your tax documents and different transaction so you can walk through and look um and uh, get to know more about the PayPal business account. But this is how you can pretty much um, create your PayPal business account. And of course, don't forget for your account to start working, you need to complete your profile, confirm your email address and link a bank. So let's get started to complete uh, the profile. So this here you, uh, so on this page uh, paypal will get you set up for advanced payment processing and what you're gonna do you will have to provide more info so you can fill out the, these are like basic information um you can describe uh you can tell people how they can describe if you're an individual seller or business and so if you're an individual seller so that means this include people who just sell on the site but if you're a business, mean, means that you are a registered company. So if you are a business, you can select business. And over here, it's going to ask you more info. What is your legal business name? Um, so you can put there. So I'm going to, I'm going to put, um, okay. So that is my legal business name. And then what type of business is this? So you can pick what form of business type is this. If it is partnership, private corporation, public company, government entity, or non profit. So I'm just going to put partnership and it's going to ask what is the, what is your birth of, what is your 
date of birth so i'm just gonna put and on here you are going to put your residential address your apartment where you're located um so the city state zip code and then you're gonna have to put your last four social security digit number so they can verify if this is actually you so and then after that the only thing you're gonna have to do is just click agree and submit and that should be good from there but make sure all your informations are correct um yes leave and one thing i want to point out so once you complete your profile don't forget to confirm your email address when you created an account paypal sent you a an email on the address you registered so you have to confirm if that is really you and then link your bank account and you should be good to go so that it's for today's tutorial if you have any question leave me the question down below on the description and i'll be happy to answer your question and thank you for watching i'll see you guys on the next video